I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful rose. And I'm going to show you with the cream color. The materials that you're going to need for these beautiful roses, I used the Red Heart Super Saver yarn, and this one is called Cherry Red. And I also used my Karen One Pound yarn, and this color is cream. I used my J crochet hook or six millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. And I used, for sewing my loose yarn ends, I just used a regular tapestry needle, but if you want to do a purl into the center of your rows, I used yarn through the center of the purl, and that means I needed a smaller needle that would fit through so the So you just purl. want to make sure whatever bead that you're using has a big enough hole in it to where you could fit whatever tapestry needle that you're using. But you could also use just a regular sewing needle and thread if you wanted. I just like to do this because the yarn is thicker and I only have to sew it on once and I think it just makes it really secure. So you're going to go ahead and take your yarn and I'm using a J or six millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to do a slip knot first. I'm just going to take the yarn and fold it over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook and go through the loop. Hold the loop at the base with your middle finger and thumb and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for your slip knot. And now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And now you're going to do a slip stitch into that first chain that you did. So take your crochet hook, go back into that first chain. And then you have both loops on your hook like this. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go both through both of those loops for a slip stitch, and you form a circle. Now you're going to go into the circle, into the center of the circle. You're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to single crochet into the center of the circle. And we're going to do that five times. So that's one. One, two, three. Two, one. Yep. Two, three. Two, one, two, three. Let's see how many times I did that. Here's one, two, three, four. We're going to do one more time. One, two, three. Two, one, two, three, four, five. So you did it five times into the circle. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then you're going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did. So go into that first single crochet, going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Now you're going to go into that first chain three loop. So I'm just going to show you here. You have a chain three loop here and here and all the way around you have a chain three loop that you created. We're going to work into that first chain three loop. You're going to do a single crochet in that first chain three loop. So bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And now we're going to do five treble crochet into the same chain three loop. So you yarn over twice, go into the loop, bring up a loop, you have four loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So we're going to do four more. 
for a total of five treble crochets. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the same chain three loop and you formed your first petal. Now you're going to go over to your second chain three loop and do a single crochet and then you're going to repeat the pattern again. So five treble crochet and then you do a single crochet. And you can see how I have two petals. So you're going to do that in every chain three space all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. Okay, so this is how your work should look. Now you're going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did. Just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to work in the spokes. So here on the flower you have your spokes and those are what we're going to work around. So we're going to go in between. So this is the first spoke that we're going to work in and we're going to go right in between, right through there with our crochet hook. So take your crochet hook and go right in between that spoke you're going to come up on the other side of that spoke with your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to bring up a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to chain two. One, two. Now we're going to go around the next spoke. So here is our next spoke. So go around that with your crochet hook. You're going to bring up a loop. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to chain two. One, two. You're going to go behind the next spoke. And you're just working around the center of the flower around each spoke. And you're doing a single crochet. Chain two. And go around the next spoke chain two, single crochet I mean, then chain two, one, two, next spoke, single crochet, chain two, one, two, and then, yep, one more here, single crochet, and then chain two, one, two. Now you're going to go in right where you split that first spoke, you're going to go in the other half of it, Bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, chain two, one, two, and now you're going to join with the slip stitch. So you're going to go into that first stitch that you did, you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch, and you just formed a circle on the inner part of the flower and we're going to be working in each of those chain two spaces. So we're going to go into the first chain two space and do a single crochet and then you're going to do four double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into that chain two space, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two. That's one two, three, four. And now you're going to do a single crochet in the same chain two space. 
and you just formed an inner petal. So now you're going to go right over to the next chain two space, do a single crochet, and you're going to repeat the process. You're going to do four double crochet, and then you're going to do a single crochet and just repeat the process all around the center of the circle and then come back. Your work should be looking like this and you could even stop here if you wanted and it looks really beautiful but we're going to keep going to make the inner part of the flower so now you're going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did. So just go into that first single crochet bring up a loop, or not bring up a loop, but you're going to yarn over and then just bring the yarn through both loops on your hook. Now we're going to do the same thing by going into the spokes. So we're going to inner spokes, so you're going to go into that inner spoke, go around it, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, then chain two, one, two, and then you go around the next spoke, chain, single crochet, chain two, one, two, and you're going to do that all the way around. And then you're going to slip stitch back to the beginning, that beginning stitch. And now you have your inner circle complete. So we're going to work in the chain two spaces. So you're going to go in that first chain two space, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Now you're going to do three half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that chain two space, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. We're going to do two more. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the same, whoop, same chain two space. And then we finished one inner petal. Now we're going to go in the next chain two space and do a single crochet and then we're going to do three half double crochet again and we're just going to repeat this pattern all around just like we did on the outer except it's going to be half double crochet and there are three of them and then do a single crochet and then we finished two petals. So go ahead and finish doing your inner petals all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. You should be back at the beginning. Now you're going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did. Just yarn over and come through both loops on the hook. And now you're going to finish off. So you just yarn over and just pull enough yarn to bury into your work. You can see how beautiful your flower is turning out. Now we're going to do the inner portion. So here's the rose. So we're just going to do this inner part. We're going to start with the slip knot. Go ahead and fold it over, the yarn over on itself, and then we're still using our J crochet hook. Put it through that loop, and then hold it at the base through your middle finger and thumb. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for a slip knot. 
Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to chain one and single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Now you're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the last stitch. And we're going to bury the yarn, loose yarn in as we work. So we're going to go around and start working on the opposite side. So we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch. And now you're going to do a half double crochet into the first stitch. The same time we're burying our loose yarn end. Yarn over and go through all three for half double crochet. Then we're doing a double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're doing a half double crochet into the next stitch. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my loose yarn end. And I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch on the end. Get my hook through. There we go. And then I'm going to finish off. And just bring enough yarn through so you can sew it onto your flower. Then you just take and put that center piece into the center of your rows and you can use your tapestry needle to finish sewing the yarn ends in. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the middle part in first. Just take my yarn end Of course, when I turn the video off, then I'm able to get it on easy. So just get your loose yarn end onto your tapestry needle, and then you're just going to weave it through the piece that you just did, just so you don't lose the little point that you have. And just weave your tapestry needle back through, and then sew the middle piece into place. with your tapestry needle. Just come up a couple of times just to make sure it's secure. And then you can take the other loose yarn in that you have. Let's see if I can get this one in. Yep. Go through that side of the flower first and then come up from behind and up through the center. And then go down into the center of the flower. And then you've sewn your middle piece in to your rows. And then you can just take the bottom and just tie knots 
to make it extra secure. And then you can bury your loose yarn ends or you can attach it to a stem if you want. If you're just going to bury your loose yarn ends, you just take and put that loose yarn in onto your tapestry needle and then you just kind of bury it through your work and then you can cut it. So go ahead and bury all your loose yarn ends and come back and then I'll show you how to do the pearl if you want the pearl in the center of your rose. Now to sew the pearl in place you could use a regular needle and thread, sewing thread if you want, but I'm going to use my tapestry needle and this tapestry needle is smaller than my regular tapestry needle that I like to use and this one has a thinner eye on it compared to my other one and I just get a bag of cheap plastic pearls and you can see that the pearl has a little hole in it so you want to make sure that the hole is big enough to fit your tapestry needle and yarn through and then you can just sew it into place And then you have a beautiful pearl in the center of your flower. And then you can just tie a knot on the other side. And then just bury your loose yarn ends. Now you're all done with your beautiful roses.